Is that like? Is it actually like kind of like Madden a little bit? Like the actual like yeah, play like style. Yeah, you can play. Like, <laughs> shit like that. I'm doing a home run, a home run derby right now, trying to get a diamond play. Hey, but I'm done. All right, guys, welcome back to the podcast. This is season five, and joining me this week is Tim and John. Guys, welcome back on. Thank you. Thank you. You fucking love that hat, don't you, little fucker? I do. You I, love I, that I, was, hat. I didn't want to wear it today, but I couldn't. Is this another anime one. shirt? It is. I love it. He's on. The, you're just an, I'm on an anime, anime kick vibe. Right now. You're I so am. animated. Ah. So animated. You're so animated. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. Always support me. But um, I wanted to come in and say, obviously, thank you guys for all the um, support for the podcast. We have. Let's go. I can't. I can't even think. I think uh, a couple days ago we had 34 listens in one day. That hey. was awesome. Um, we have more listeners besides. Ju- I think we have. Um, Let's see where else. We obviously have the United States because, you know, we're the best country in the world. He's angry, nah. right? Let's see. Dashboard. Where is it? Okay, so Hungary. Hungary. We actually have more wow. people listening. South Africa, Australia, Sweden, Canada, Philippines, Germany. We have solidified 1% in Germany. We're fucking crazy. United Kingdom is 4%. That's awesome. Germany. I don't, can't pronounce those, but obviously, you know, United States, Massachusetts, whatever, and then... Phew. Damn, that's actually kind of sick. But you guys, you guys are killing it. Thing. We've kept these in the four that uh, they haven't changed, and this is a brand new one. Not an update yet, but someone out there is listening, and they just said, butter that bread. Mm. <laughs> it's a good show. <laughs> but we'll, uh, we're going to get right into it. Last week, we talked about Someone on the TikTok said that we should look at this person. Yeah, I do. Because we were this. talking about Robert Kraft and the whole like uh, <laughs> massage thing and sucky sucky five dollar. Yeah. So this person is Chris Chan. This is a female. Um, so it's a timeline of Chris Chan's incest charge, which comes after <laughs> years of online trolling that documented the creator's relationship with her mother. So she literally, her mother was seventy nine, and basically had like a whole sexual relations with her mother. Wait, what? I'm, I'm not kidding you. Christine Chandler, who is also known as online as Chris Chan, was arrested on August 1st and charged with, the inc- with incest after a leaked phone call purported that she had sexual relations with her 79-year-old mother. Bruh, what the heck? It's, I, I, this, I, this is wor- a lot worse than what Robert Kraft did, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know how God this relates damn. to it, but thank you for letting us know about This is miserable. Um, the extensive knowledge trolls have Chandler and her mother has been recorded on a dedicated wiki... Is it going to pull up? Since 2009. Oh, my God. She's often contacted by covert trolls with the intention of leaking their conversations on forums like Kiwi Farms, which is believed to have been the intention of the person who had the alleged phone call with Chandler. Miss Chandler's frequent and sometimes over-the-top presence on the Internet is partly a product of mental health issues, causing misguided attention-seeking and often provocative engagement with others. Here's a timeline of the allegations that began a year ago with the rumors spread by trolls in the internet forums. This is unreal. God so damn. it's crazy that people so people knew about this the entire time when this was happening. People knew about this and then so they were trolling her about it? I don't I don't understand. I honestly had no idea that incest was illegal. I just thought it was like weird. I didn't know it was like that, that, in August oh, twenty sixteen, Chandler said in a Facebook post that she had dreams of having sex with her mother. Look at the eye look at look at that iPod. Wow, that's that's what I'm taking out of this whole thing. It's it's. Chandler was arrested on Sunday after a leaked phone call suggesting had sex with her elderly mother. That's fucking awful. The following year, in twenty in August 2016, Chandler wrote a Facebook status defending a mother and son in Mexico who reportedly said they were in love. Which, okay. Oh. They just don't want us to know. No. See if that was a fight or love. They, they're fighting your your Wi-Fi right now. Who who's watching porn on the Wi-Fi right now? All right, there we go. But that's that's so crazy that that happened. That's nasty. That that is. The real question is is what does the mom look like? Because yeah. then maybe it's justified. <laughs> is it? <laughs> is it justified? <laughs> you never know. Yeah, that's fair. That's I fair. doubt it, dude. Oh god. I. Look at like. I just don't gotcha think. Kid. Yeah, the mom's no shot, bro. Like, I mean, I could see why the mom had a tough time holding back. Yeah. <laughs> that's awful <laughs> yeah bro like, there's no there's no pictures of the the mother 
Chandler later tweeted, there is trauma in the air today. Each and every one of you are all encouraged to withdraw <laughs> from any and all dramas, gossip, rumors, and whatever else will. And already has approached your way today. Wow. I mean, if... <laughs> Bro. What does the mom look like, you know? I know, that's what I'm saying. This guy, this guy over here is like, holy shit. What that's it? She, he's looking at the mom. Like, <laughs> goddamn. Like, goddamn. Like, goddamn. <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> YouTuber Ethan Ralph, a podcast associated with the alt right and the gamer gay movement. Live stream channels arrest outside of a Virginia hotel on August 1st. Everything is going to be all right. That's what uh, she said. Uh, and guess what? I don't think everything was okay. I'm pretty sure she got arrested. God damn. Spoken. As I reported. I kept Chandler's hearing about this thing on TikTok, and I was always wondering what it was. Now that I know, it's kind of. Kind of nasty. I had never heard of this, and dude, I, always, I was kind of happy when I didn't know. I always got so many memes, like the lawyer, the lawyer after looking at Chris Chan's case, <laughs> trying to defend her. And uh, it was like some, you're some you're on your bit. own. Yeah, you're on your own, buddy. I don't know. Okay, so I don't know how long ago um, the hearing was, and this is all in 2016 or something. But it's saying that the last thing they've seen was Chandler's next hearing is scheduled for September 16th because she said. That uh, she won't feel safe proceeding until she's able to pick up her possessions at her home. Well, I want to be there. Uh, I'm going to watch a live stream. I don't know how long ago um, this was. August. Oh, this is fucking literally. This is this month. Wow. God damn, dude. So, I mean, hey, if you guys want to. Maybe the uh, UFC will pick up on this. We'll buy some pay per view <laughs> of her in the corner. <laughs> That's awful. All right. Well, that was really depressing. Let's get into a better topic here. Mascots are back in stands. Which ones make more money than you? Which ones do you guys think? I know. I know who makes a lot of money. I know who doesn't. All of them make more than me. Yeah, That's true. Know. The Atlanta Hawks, Harry the Hawk, pays 250 per 30 minutes for appearance, $500 per hour. Can, can we make a prediction yeah. on like some of the higher paid ones? Could, wait, can you just give us the name and then I can guess? I need to know who, who, what stadium yeah, it is. Yeah, just don't, like, look, don't look at the screen. Don't look at the screen. Okay. Just, Baltimore yeah. Orioles, the Oriole bird. I already saw this one. But yeah. what do you, think? you fucking suck. I feel like Wally's got to be there. The Red Sox are like a huge... I think Wally's got to be up there. Do you think it's... What do you, who do you think what sports has the most? Like MLB, and what do you think has the most? Well, the most expensive one, isn't it the Cowboys? Aren't they the most expensive? They're the most expensive Look, franchise. You know, do, you, do you want to take a guess? All right, so I'll just go. I'll just cut right to it. Blue, Indianapolis Colts, with incentives, with salary bonus, with the salary in general. How much do you think he makes a year? $100,000. $150,000. Full time. And no one even knows what he looks like. No. I would love to get that money. Yeah. They literally, people, you know how they had tight end university? They have a mascot university like that. Where you would go and do that stuff. Monsters like, University? Yeah. Monsters University. They, yeah, they're all like, <laughs> who's the best monster? So what do you well, guys think this, for the Orioles bird? I don't know. I'm stuck on the Hawks. Harry the Hawk. So it's 500 per hour. Yeah. And like how long is like a basketball game? Like four or five hours maybe? Not even... Like four or three. You gotta be there early and you gotta stay yeah. a little late. Yeah, mascots, it's definitely longer than a game. And I feel like a game is usually what, like, a game could be like two and a half hours, three hours so, like long. Three. So say he's like, goes, I guess they're like three hours before the game. Cause I usually get there like four hours before like a Pets game. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. And they're definitely making at least over. Dude, you're making like. Two. Twenty, twenty five hundred a day. Like, and that's a steep floor. Yeah. Because obviously you gotta be there early, and yeah, I don't really know the roles that mascots have after the games. There's really no point in them. But before the game and during the game, you're making at l- at least twenty five hundred dollars. I do to that. fucking do a cartwheel. I would do and that. sweat a little bit. <laughs> Dude, it's gotta be hot in there though. It's I, gotta be. I hot. don't care. You could make me sweat I, for five hundred an hour. Bro, it's basically no, that's an absolute steal for a five hundred. You do it on every fucking Halloween. You dress up in a costume <laughs> and you sweat as you go trick or treating. Yeah. But now you do that and you, you get paid. paid for it. Yeah. So that's I mean that's a lot of money. But what do you guys think about the the Orioles bird? I saw it, so I don't want to say it. I feel like it'll either be the same or like it'll be like two hundred per thirty minutes. No, it goes up each time. Pay. Oh, we're going up. Yeah. It's up to three hundred dollars. $350 per hour for appearances. Oh, so that one's lower then. Oh. 
Oh, look at... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Boston Red Sox, Wally the Green Monster. How much do you think? I'm going to say... 420... I'd say 425 an It's hour. a very established ballpark. It's very famous. I'm going to say probably... Probably say the same. I'm probably going to say $500 an hour. I'm going to say 300 per hour because Boston's cheap and doesn't like to pay people. Yeah, that's true. I said four twenty. If they can't pay Mookie Betts, why are they going to pay Joe Schmo? <laughs> Shut up. So, All right, three, so, 300. 425. 425. That's not the hourly wage I was looking for. 70000 a year? So, oh! All right, hold on. We can, figure, be, Wally. we can figure this out. There's 81 home games. Yep. All right, so we're going to do... We're doing the math for this? He's yeah. Got, you know these. He, oh, yeah. 70,000 divided by 81 yeah. is 800... We'll call it 864. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right? So that's per game. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now... Tell me out. So now... If that's per game, type in how long is an average MLB game. And then How we'll, long is an average MLB game? It's going to be like somewhere in between three, four hours. Didn't even give me a time. It just gave me a whole schedule. Fucking goddamn theory, you fucker. We'll just say per oh. game divided divided by... I mean, we'll, it's usually like four hours now, like four or five hours. We'll just do four. Three. Just over three. Okay, so we'll add four for being there an hour. Two hundred sixteen an hour. I mean, that's still pretty good. I yeah, mean, I know. the hot se- like, It just makes it seem like it's a lot bigger because I would say it's just seventy thousand a year, which is that's like. Because now we'll yeah, we'll yeah. do the Orioles one for example. So three fifty times four hours that you're there mm-hmm. times eighty one home games. That's a hundred thirteen thousand four hundred. How much is the 500 per hour for the Hawks? They don't have as many home games, though. They only have 41. Yeah. So you do 500. What, but, yeah, but as a mascot, do you go on the road? Or no? I, well, that's some, what, I don't think, do, I don't some think you, don't. you don't because it's not your stadium. I know, but I, I've seen them at I think the okay, We'll just say without right now. Okay. We'll just do without. So 500 and what did we... We'll say... 42 an, and we said, four, what, four hours ago? Yeah, because they got obviously they got to be there before yeah, pregame. Yeah, really. they gotta agree yeah and I feel like stuff like that when it's like enclosed, it's a little bit more interactive than like having Wally. Yeah, I, I've been to Red Sox teams. Wally doesn't make an appearance until a little bit in. I know that's true. So we'll just say four for that times forty-two home games. That's still eighty-four thousand. Still great. Holy fuck! You know a lot less work work too. Half working half the time. You basically get oh, the same. Mom. Did you see that one? I saw. I, I saw the like one number. I have no idea. Charlotte Hornets, Hugo. This will probably be like two, three hundred an hour. You think so? Yeah. yeah. I think it'll probably be the same. Charlotte Hornets, smaller market. All right, you ready? <laughs> so that would be, what, 500 per three hours or something like that? But that's the... Th- so it so ranges the- from 250 to 150, 1,500... Outside of could be making a hundred thousand dollars or more per year. All right, this is how much she makes outside of NBA games. I'm trying to scroll slowly. Oh, so here. you could pay this guy to go to your birthday party, like a little kid's birthday well, party. Well, and they also <laughs> do like <laughs> it's true right, though. For yeah. example, like the Jimmy Fun. Like, yeah, Wally will that. go to like the children's hospital. Yeah, so he, it's yeah, like he gets paid for that too. That's overtime. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't want to be here. I mean, that's so crazy, though. <laughs> he I doesn't mean. want to be there. Come on. <laughs> oh, Wally. Benny the Bull. Wally's only in it for the money. They got a little bit more money, so maybe a little bit more. Yeah. I'm probably going to say around like 125000 a year. I don't know how much he's making an hour. Maybe Either like that, 600 I'll, I'll say three fifty an hour again, like that. Uh, oh, I mean, he's, pre- he's pretty. Like, he's always four. on TikTok. He's all, I think yeah, he's got to be. That's what I'm saying. Like, so. I'm going to say 500 an hour. Say 500 an hour. Oh, holy wow. shit. Wow. 200,000? What's he... What's he doing? Jesus, they got him working every day. Well, he's always on the... He's always on TikTok constantly. I see him on the Bulls TikTok. Obviously, he's at the games constantly. He's, he's always interacting with the guy. I feel like he's probably the best mascot that's very interactive. I mean, $200,000 a year? I don't know. You better be interactive. Oh, yeah, you better... Yeah. You better be kissing me. You better be... Did you just say you better be using tongue? Oh my god. <laughs> better be using tongue. Yeah, dude, you better he be makes in there. more money than teachers that 
went to college. Educate our next generation. I know. So uh, I'm learning here is that you don't gotta go to college. That's you probably have to go to college for this. Honestly, you gotta take a couple gymnastic classes. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's actually you're good. That's crazy. That two hundred thousand dollars. And a year. no one can body shame you. They don't know what you look like. They don't know who you look like or what you look like. It's perfect. It's a great gig. No coworkers. No coworkers. Just you in a suit. Oh fuck you, mom. Although I'm sure like <laughs> Disney mascots. <laughs> that's all, yeah, that's yeah, too. Cleveland. <laughs> I'm I'm sure like Disney mascots like Goofy and stuff like that like they probably make so much they meant, less yeah, than I, know. I was gonna say less than you think less than Di- I've heard that Disney's wicked scummy I've also heard that so I feel like they don't pay well I think they're scummy to their employees they uh, they love to pamper yeah their, bro they're just fucking buyers. cast members that's yeah. all they care about as long as they're as long as we got Chris Evans <laughs> yeah Cleveland Cavaliers Moon Dog I've never even seen their mascot uh, I haven't either LeBron. <laughs> what do you think? We both. I saw it at least. I, I didn't see it. it. You didn't see it. I'm still just gonna. St- I I feel like I'm gonna say like four hundred. I'm gonna say four hundred. The three hundred mark. A right on the dot. Boom. I think that's like the average. NBA mascots have high earning potential. I'm, former. I'm curious to see like the bottom. Like, is it actually going up or? It looks like it's kind of just going in alphabetical order. Yeah. So, uh, so I don't know who. Here we go. This one's gonna be a big one. Oh, fucking five bucks an hour. Dallas Cowboys rowdy. Never seen this mascot. It's probably just some mm-hmm. guy like a drunk guy in a costume. It's Jerry Jones. Imagine that Jerry Jones, <laughs> Jerry a, costume. Jones in a costume. This guy would probably get paid five thousand bucks an hour, even though he should only get five. I want to say he gets two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. I'm saying four hundred. Ooh. Wow, that's tough. 600. Wait, hold up. But it's still slightly more than Rather the average Rather salary was guy. revealed in a lawsuit brought against the team by one of Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders who said that she was paid less than half what the male mascot made. Oh, so this guy is probably making a lot more. And Jeez. she's like, fuck you. Damn. All right. I mean, when you think about it, being a cheerleader and being a mascot is kind of very similar. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, granted, there's more cheerleaders than mascots, yeah. but I actually, I can see why that would piss people off if you were getting paid less than half of what yeah, the mascot absolutely. was getting. Like, like a, let's just use clean numbers here. Like, if a mascot was getting paid 100000 and I was only getting paid, like, let's say forty, Bro, I'd be pissed. That I'd be pissed. I'm doing the same job as you, but I'm just doing it in a group. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I understand that you can't get paid as much because, like, just classic, like, supply and demand, but, like, I don't know. That's tough. He shouldn't even be making that money. They fucking suck. <laughs> All right. The Denver Nuggets Rocky. He's a very interactive uh, yeah. mascot, I'd say. Um, I'm going to say he's making as much as Benny the Bull. Wow. Whoa. Wow. I'll go 350 per hour again. I'm saying four. Holy oh, my gosh. What? <laughs> A year? Is that right? There's no way. The highest paid mascot in the professional sports industry. Oh my so god. So nothing gets higher than this guy. He's ten times the average salary for a team mascot with a salary of 625000 Jesus. There's a fucking mascot hall of fame? <laughs> what is it, just him? <laughs> Probably. God Holy damn. shit, That's bro. crazy. Six hundred twenty-five fucking thousand dollars, though. Seriously, that's unfuck. You don't need that much. That guy is living lavish right now. I know. Fuck you, Rocky. <laughs> Bro, he could work only twenty percent of his days in making that like a hundred twenty-five thousand is still enough. Like that is way more Bro, than like, enough. I don't per year. What else does he do besides? He could work one out of every five days. And so still does have like a any nicer car. So does anybody? Anything. Does anybody that puts on that? costume and get that money or does it have to be like because the guy's done like all that like work i don't i don't know oh you're saying there's like a a reason behind if, like he's been there for that long but like, they, like they're giving him that yeah, I like he, i know what you're saying he's worked his way up yeah i i hope that's not the case i'd love to put that costume on and get that money i know that's crazy there's probably a fucking line for that uh, all right the detroit tigers pause after seeing that one, I think this guy's paid, getting paid ten bucks a week. 
the Detroit Tigers, yeah, like are the I'm basement of two, all professional. I'm gonna sports. say two hundred an hour. I was gonna say two hundred an hour. I wouldn't be surprised if it's less than. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. I mean, two hundred bucks an hour to do that is still, it's still insane. Pretty, yeah, it's yeah, still good. Still but you're insane. not getting paid like Rocky, you know. Yeah, After seeing Rocky, just... I don't want anything except Rocky's pay. I'm sorry. That's fucking awful. Kansas City Royals slugger. Ah. Uh, this guy's out there. Say a decent amount. I could see him kind of having like a 300 one. Because Kansas City also isn't that big of a market either. I know, yeah. So. It's in 350. Ooh. Oh, wow. Half, oh, four dollars oh, yeah, an hour. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Per hour. You were close. You were close. Mask up. Doing yeah, that's pretty good. good. Corporate events. Oh, like school visits and shit like that. Like, look at that. It's 150. Half hour appearances are 150 bucks. Wow. Damn, so you'd make so, 300 bucks for just being at school for an hour. That's crazy. Wow. What do you oh. do? Just give kids high five? Like, that's all you do. You give high five. You don't even talk to them. You don't have to speak. That's that, yeah, crazy. Yeah, that's as you speak, I'm assuming, right? They're just nah. Sh- you get to be quiet. No one knows who you are. And you get paid, like... Bro, that's what I'm saying. Oh that's my a dream. God. I'll, like if they hear, if I did a car wheel, they'd probably hear me go, oh, like that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but like that's the only noise I'm making. That's awesome. Uh, Milwaukee Brewers, Bernie Brewer. He probably just gets paid in Miller Lights. I know. Imagine that's what the actual currency was. I'm gonna say two fifty. Say three. In that ballpark, I'll say three. Oh, two okay. seven. right in the middle. Yeah. Oh, they're private event for two seventy five or seven fifty hundred seventy five for nonprofit. If they were like, "Yo, go to this event right now," first thing I'm saying is it nonprofit? <laughs> <laughs> like, you think I'm going nonprofit? I Remember, I, I ain't losing a hundred bucks like that. That sucks. All right, Minnesota Vikings Ragnar the Viking. I'm gonna say. I oh, mean, I'm saying three fifty. I pro- yeah, I go three fifty on that one. I mean, I'll go. Th- Skull Nation's pretty tough. 375. 375. Damn. Wow. Oh, wow. I mean, I'd, I'd say he's like a staple to yeah. Skull yeah. Nation. Yeah, here you come fucking plowing down. Up to pay bump to $200,000. What is this? What? What? Whoever, someone must have gotten this wrong. Maybe. What? Oh, he asked for it. He asked for two hundred thousand dollars per game, and the team wasn't willing to pay this high price. Bro, this guy was asking for two hundred k. Jesus, ball to ask for two hundred thousand a game. All right, hey, the next you got to start high. Yeah, yeah, true. The next one is the Montreal Canadiens. You play. I don't, I don't know. You play. You play. I'm gonna say. 200. Uh, is this our first hockey one? I think so. Yeah. So I, don't, I have no idea where to oh, start. This would be very low. I'd say yeah. 200. Hey, hockey I'll throw yeah, it right now. has the cheapest Yo, contracts. I don't know. I'm, I may say like a, a hundred per hour. Dude, hockey's contracts are awful. You get, so if you get paid a hundred an hour, you're already getting paid more than McDavid. So. Yeah. I'm going to say 200. Thousand oh, dollars wow. per appearance. Your face, Tim, just lit up. <laughs> so because hockey, hockey contracts, doesn't pay yeah. anyone oh anything. God. That's funny. That's Jesus Christ, man. Bro, I'm not even joking. This guy get will get paid more money than like fourth line players. Yeah. And fourth line players will make like nine hundred fifty thousand. Like something very close to only a million. Damn. I think we'll do a couple more here, and then we'll roll into oh, the. Oh, no, uh, I had my decimals off. The those players still make a lot more. We'll roll into other couple of talkers and Q and A. Yeah, but I knew what you were talking about. But yeah, because that means this guy would have to make yeah. a thousand appearances to make a million. Yeah. yeah. But proportionally, what they're doing. I, what, yeah, I know. Compared what to what hockey doing. players do. All right, we'll do two more here. New Jersey Devils. I don't. I, two, I'm gonna say this. 200, 200 an hour. I'm gonna say three fifty. I'm still going like a hundred, hundred fifty an hour. 800 per, 1200 40 per hour? I've seen him a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He is kind of... You know, he's big. He's a big name. So Mr. Met. I feel like yeah, Mr. He, Met's going to be a lot. Yeah, Mr. Met's going to be a lot. And it's New York. We haven't done the Yankees. The Yankees will probably be the one after. Um, 
This dude's gonna. Yeah, I'm going 500 now. You're going 425. 600. 600. Okay. And it's the Yankees. Yeah, hey, I want to see the Yankees. Oh, what Oklahoma the City. Fuck? The Bison. I'm just, I'm just roll through and Do take the Yankees New York. even have a mascot? I feel like I've never even seen a Yankees um, mascot. I don't think Who's I have either. <laughs> I'm going to roll through these ones real quick. Oklahoma City Thunder, Rumble the Bison. Up to 100000 a year. Philadelphia Flyers, Gritty. Oh, this guy, 3000 yeah. per nah, hour. Nah, 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 for this, appearances. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, this guy is, like, big. And he's, like, a new one there, yeah, right? He's so, really yeah, big, this guy, I, I could have told you he was going to be making a lot. Holy shit. The other Phillies, Philly. Philly Fanatics uh, probably going to be a lot too. I, I want to see this. Yeah, uh, yeah. Two hundred per hour. Pittsburgh Penguins Iceberg, two hundred fifty per hour. Yeah, it makes sense. That's normal hockey. I feel like San Diego Padres. Oh. San Diego Chicken, ten bucks <laughs> per game. Per game, Thir- oh thirteen thousand three hundred thirty-three dollars <laughs> per hour. What the fuck? The Padres didn't just, like, have all this money out of nowhere. It's literally been, like, the last year. I they know. were a small market California team that... Oh, my God. That's insane. San Francisco's giant Lucy. Oh, this, I could see... Yeah, I was going to say, I could see this guy being a little bit above average. 500 an hour. San Jose Shark... Okay. Flip off. C- SJ Sharky getting paid $150 for 15 minutes, second per hour. Oh, okay. okay. St. Louis Cardinals Fred Bird. 400 an hour for appearances. Wow. So, mascots get paid a lot. Yep. 400 an hour, 467 per hour. That's it. We've definitely seen some really ridiculous So, it's Rocky. Rocky. That yeah. Rocky gets paid that much. But, I'll talk about this in a minute. But, NFL preseason, what have you guys seen that you've liked? What have you not liked? I've liked Justin Fields. I think he looked great in his first game. Uh, Tua. I think he threw like what one interception in his preseason game. I was a little concerned about that, but he made some good uh, good decisions after that. But preseason's been fun. I I haven't watched that much of it. I'm trying to get back into football uh, slowly and steadily, and I don't want to overdo it at the moment. Because if I overdo it, then I'm gonna get burnt out a little bit. I can't get burnt out. Seventeen yeah, weeks. I um, I feel like there's always like practice squad guys that like become like big names for their team at like training camp but then it's like it doesn't really it, they're not transferable like into actual games mm. like you see these things especially now with fantasy football like a lot of people read like uh like beat writer reports and stuff like that yeah. like who's sticking out and you'll see like all these like wide receivers and like they just won't be anything um one thing that i did like was um the hell's the guy's name I literally just had it on the tip of my tongue. I, I'm oh, already who was it? RB wide receiver. I, it was a wide receiver. Oh, no, oh my bad. Uh, Jalen Hurts is mm. like uh, you can see that a lot of people are starting to like uh, take shape on what they want their season to look like because nowadays it's a lot more player decision than it is front office decision. Yeah. And you can see that even though I personally didn't think there is like a QB competition in Philly now that Carson once is gone. Um, I thought Jalen Hurts was automatically the QB one, but everyone's like saying over there that like he is the QB one, blah 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 blah, and it seems like he's getting like real comfortable. And I've heard that his connection with Devonte Smith's been real well. And there's another wide receiver there who apparently has been like, s- like Quentin Wentz yeah. or something like that. Um, that he's been doing real well. So just stuff like that. Yeah, I liked um, Javante Williams. I was watching him get a couple reps oh, in. Oh, was that the Broncos running back? Yeah, yeah. he like his first first two plays in a row. He got two first downs in a row. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Um, who else played good? Um, Jared Stidham. Yeah, he was all right because he yeah. had the successful back surgery. So yeah. he's feels good. Yeah. Was <laughs> all right, no need gonna, for rehab if it was successful. Yeah. yeah. Now, you know, I put the title as AJ Dillon's quads. Um, and I literally just got a report in fantasy that he's actually injured. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I got a questionable from him. But we already did the Q&A here. Um, you guys send us questions every week. Can't get a fucking open this week. Oh. Motherfucker. So, yeah, if you guys want, send us questions in every week. Um, they get fucked up every week. But this episode's gone by pretty quick, but it's been, like, a long one. So, because fucking all these mascots costing us tons of money. Um, from on her money sign, do you oh. prefer ass or tits? I'm an ass guy. 
you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. Of course. Oh, uh, is that Tim? Personality. Nice. I like that Great. one. That's a good one. From Fat Daddy Boy. Nice. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Grandma's ass cheeks? I don't know. Just ask Chris Chan. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to touch on that subject anymore. From Broken Boner 79, what happens after we die? It's a black hole. It's a great question. I'll get back to you on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you know. Yeah. I'll get back to you on that. Christian. There you go. That's, what, that's what happens after we die. Oh, Jesus. For <laughs> From Platypussy, how horny are you guys right now? Extremely. Out of, out of a scale, out of a 10, part of 10. I'd say 11. Literally, like... If like like I just rub against something wrong, I'm like instantly just hard. Yeah. Like if I ran into a wall right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I ran into a wall right now. Any of my nose would turn the wall first. Just <laughs> From Kanye. Who's, Yo, Kanye. Yeah, Kanye. Where's your album, dude? Who's Joe? Joe who? Joe Mama. Ah. <laughs> Stupid. Get played, pussy. Damn. From <laughs> Bill on Upper Forty Four. <laughs> What is it? <laughs> from Bill I don't Humper understand. 44. Bill Humper? No, no Pillow Humper. Oh, Bill from Humper. People are crazy, bro. From, uh, from Pillow Humper 44. How you guys doing? <laughs> doing great, Pillow Humper. Um, I don't know about you guys. I'm doing great. I'm doing good. I haven't been all right now that they don't put pillows in the same room as me. But <laughs> <laughs> I love your name, by the way. Um, from It's Your Boy Skinny Pencil. <laughs> Um, this is another kind of one. Will Donda ever drop? There's actually another listening party in Chicago next week for the album. All right. I saw that, but um, probably not anytime soon. I, I hope. Unfortunately. But. And last, but certainly not least. Wow, I did should not have said that, actually. It is very much least. Uh, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> I don't think this would ever happen. But from Newt Newt. Shout out Newt Newt. Newt Newt you know again. <laughs> what will it take for you to get a Hitler stash? Zero dollars, zero cents. I won't do it. I'll I mean, do it for free. Oh, I'm just kidding. Five bucks, maybe. Mm. You know, if I could grow a mustache, five bucks, and then I'd shave it off nah. after. But you know, I mean, it usually happens. Like when I'm shaving, eventually I get down to just the mustache, take a little bit off the sides, and then you keep it. <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> oh but those God, are dude. we kind of do a little like a little rapid fire. But thank you guys for I the know. questions. Um, that was awesome. Great questions. You guys have some funny names. I don't know where you guys come up with this shit. I you, like you, you fucking 44. degenerates. I like noot 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 noot. That's from that uh, Japanese TV show, Pengu. I, I didn't know that until you showed me. Pengu. Noot noot. Oh, wait, what was the one, like, Pencil Boy Lover or something? Oh, oh it's no. your boy Skinny Pencil. Yeah. It's your boy Skinny Pencil. <laughs> yeah. But, um, I don't know. I don't know what I want to hop into next because we've, we've done a lot so far. We've, we've done like half an hour so far. Have we? Damn. I don't know the if you, wanna, you guys want to hop into yeah you guys want to hop into Call of Duty, uh, my first preseason game of July, coughing in a crowd of people at BJ's or City Parade. So we can hop into like probably two of those and probably call it a day. Yeah. I mean you've I mean I don't like you really care about Call of Duty um like the new ones I don't know if you do or not. The new ones I'm not too like this this like educated the, on the one that they're releasing soon. Is this gonna be, Vanguard. Yeah. Call, so basically it's back obviously in World War Two. Uh, there's going to be 24 multiplayer maps, 16 maps that are 6v6, actual, actual swastikas <laughs> in-game. It's because they had to take them down in the other one. Actual swastikas yeah. in <laughs> They had to take it's them like down in the other one. Wait, I thought they were going to be fake swastikas. <laughs> Alpha's coming soon. It's next week. Dynamic weather, Treyarch's making zombies, anti-cheat unlaunched, November 5th release. Now, there was a uh, leaker, Tom Henderson, was looking that he watched the campaign today. And he said the campaign looked... On PlayStation, he said it looked amazing. Let's see, he's a credible leaker. Where is it? Uh, he's actually doing stuff. What is this? Oh, it's a different game. So, he said... Where is it? Oh, <laughs> he was doing uh, Me and Ghost Hope when we released... When they, re when they released Call of Duty, finally. <laughs> I love that video. So he said, I've just watched a campaign mission of Vanguard on the PS5, and it's probably one of the best-looking games on current-gen consoles. It's a bold statement to make, but it looks beautiful. Even for a mission set on the night before D-Day landings, it looks very crisp, no gray wash that we typically see in color. I mean, you can't, like, the graphics, obviously, they go up from here. Like You can't really go down 
Um, yeah. But gameplay does go down sometimes. Um, but hopefully we'll see some good uh, potential. A lot of uh, playing with shadows and lightning, fire, gunshots, and that sort of thing. I'm just looking for a game that's going to be good finally. The, Z- the Zombies Chronicle Order, it's before D-Machine. Okay. So it'll be like... Hopefully they just go back to the normal perks because we were playing. I was playing zombies with him yesterday on transit. Um, I, I hope. Like it, I hope they just go back to the normal perks. It's so much better like that. It is. It's so Shut much up. better. Um, I think we saw you a couple days ago. I think you were, were you playing. I oh, know you were watching Disney Plus. Were you watching Loki? What yesterday? I think was it yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, yeah, yesterday I was yesterday. on Disney Plus. I yeah, was, yeah. I was bored and I was like, let me watch. Uh, that first episode of like Marvel What, what If I want to get is it good I want to get it it was just alright like I'm not it's not like a low key or that's any why of the I other shows type thing where it's like oh my god it. I can't wait until it's yeah. Wednesday or Friday but it was alright I'm not really in a rush to watch it cause yeah. it's a what if, it's literally what if so it's just hypotheticals and not that's why actuality. I wasn't like rushing to yeah. watch it either um, I'm excited to see what to do for the Star Wars thing that's coming out in a few months I don't think I have uh, Disney Plus. I've never, um, I've never watched Star Wars in my life. Oh, come on, um, man. come on, dog. Well, like the only like movie I've ever watched, I think it was like with the Ewoks. They got a ton of Ewoks. Mm. Like they, they're like it wasn't like a, like an animated thing. It was like the actual like fucking, li- like literally midgets. They had like dressed up as Ewoks. It was like a live action. I don't know which one it was. Probably the sixth one. I don't know which one. Fuck it. But. First preseason game at Gillette. I worked How'd the Pats. It was, I mean, it was, it was chaos. I worked the one versus the Washington football team. Three Louis Vuitton bags had to be thrown out at the gate because the the bags were too big, so they didn't want to go back. Yeah, they didn't want to go back to the car. And you're going to say, why don't you grab and sell them? I can't do that because I'll be fired. Uh, that's so tough. They just threw them out? Yeah, they're like, ah, whatever. I'll get a new one. <laughs> yeah, right. Or they were just fake and they're like, fuck Who was it. it fucking Robert Kraft, bro? I know. Yeah. What the or was it fucking Rocky the mascot? <laughs> But no, I did that. Um, I worked the gate for like the longest fucking time, and then like after I got out of the gate, I had break, chicken tennis fries, Mountain Dew combo, of you know. And Our then classic. absolutely kill a meal like that right now. Oh, chicken dude. tenders, fries, fries, Mountain Dew, and a fucking Mountain Dew. They I have not had Mountain moves. Dew in so they long. They do it well. I usually only get it to when they do. Like they give you a free meal ticket, and you go and get it either before the game or after, or, like mid game or something. Baja Blast right now. I haven't had a Baja Blast in a long time. <laughs> Fucking so good. kill one of those right now. But I did after that, after break, I won the Rome team where we literally just slicked, walked up on the, the uh, 300 section back and forth till the game was over. It wasn't bad. I got I got like out at like midnight though. So I was there from 2.30 to 12. Oof. It's so that's bad. usually Yeah, that's usually how games are though. Yeah. You know? And it was like a 7.30 game. I got there for 2.30. Like, if only you were a mascot, I you'd know. have everything paid off. I know. And some. You'd have a nice Bugatti. I wonder how much, uh, is his name Pat the Patriot? Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. I wonder how much he makes. He's probably getting paid real good. Probably getting paid in fucking massages from fucking Robert Kraft. <laughs> but, so the other day I was at BJ's. <laughs> I was looking for deals. Because my parents, I don't know if you guys have, your parents have like, uh, rem- like reward members at BJ's or anything. Mm-hmm. So I go out there to get some uh, Fairlife protein shakes and some broccoli. Oh, how are those? They're really good. I So here's the thing. I used to love Fairlife yeah. chocolate milk. Then they went under that controversy for a little bit where they got exposed for like beating, like they were like abusing cows and shit like that. That's, how, that's, how the, that's why the milk's so good. But like, so then that whole thing started. I was never really huge into it, but I was just like, whatever i'm not gonna support something like that yeah um but then i, I, I saw something on tiktok yesterday or the day before that they have they got like these protein shakes where it's like chocolate milk or something like that and it's 30 grams protein yeah i have one upstairs if you want one is they're, it good really good I'll, I'll give you one after they're really good i think they are it t- for me it tastes like a mcdonald's like chocolate milkshake yo i think it's good oh speaking of that i just had a quest bar on my way here it macro wise it's gotta be the best one. Which uh, flavor? It's, it's the Quest birthday cake bar. Ooh. Hundred eighty calories, twenty one grams of protein. That's really good. That's out of and I've had cookie dough, uh uh oatmeal chocolate chip, uh cookies and cream. Like I've had a bunch. I've had like the peanut butter. Um that's the best one I've ever seen. 
180, 21 grams of yeah, protein. Yeah, Quest, they do it right, man. The chips, like the protein shakes, the protein bars, they do it right. But I was at BJ's. Uh, I didn't have a mask on. And at the time, there was like, a huge crowd of just old people with masks on at the, the, the vegetable section. So I literally choked on my spit by accident. All I just, they just break out. Just <coughs> <coughs> they all just dispersed. They were, they were all just staring at me and dispersed. <laughs> I felt so awkward. Happens. Boomer. Don't worry about it. Does it happen the though? The boomers. The boomers. The boomers. They all just fled. But because they're boomers. Have you guys ever been to a uh, like a obviously like when the you know Celtics or Red Sox or Pats win a championship? You guys have been to one? The parades? Yeah. 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 I've been to City all parade. of them, starting with the Patriots twenty-eight to three comeback. I, I think didn't. that was my first one. I I started with the. Um, I'm not sure if I went Red to the Red Sox twenty eighteen one. I'm not sure if I went to the one when we beat the Seahawks, but that would have only been two years. I'm almost positive the Falcons one was my first one. I've only I've, been to two. They're, they're pretty good times, uh, as long as, like, you know, it's not, like, snowing or downpouring. Yeah. But like one of the times I went, it was raining, and I was literally just soaking wet, and I didn't I didn't prepare, like, enough for it. I was wearing my fucking Martellus Bennett jersey. <laughs> 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 fucking Imagination Agency fucking kicking it. And... The guys like, were leaving. We're literally stuck in a crowd of people, like just chest to check, back to back, whatever. Yeah, it's cramped. Yeah, it's so bad. And there was this lady with a fucking stroller, and this guy takes. Oh, from those the, are the worst. Yeah, these two dude. guys take from the back and say, "All right, Bennett, you're gonna block for us." And he throws me right into the lady with the <laughs> stroller. <laughs> Like, I, like, Benny, you're gonna block he, he oh strangers, up, strangers? And just, strangers yeah they just pick me up they're drunk and just throw me I was like oh my god yeah, that's mad funny that's hilarious Yo, Benny you're gonna block for us on this play <laughs> I was like oh what I have a hoodie on I was like no way and it felt bad the lady was like freaking out and the baby was crying I'm like alright well I, I, I had to blo- lead block sorry yeah I don't get paid enough for this he had to lead block, block that's but hilarious what did you guys say your probably your favorite moment is from like a city parade so my my favorite moment was since it was like such shitty weather a year in like a very compact area. People are super inconsiderate. I Gavin was with me and one guy just started like peeing right next to us like on the ground. <laughs> but that was even the best part. Everyone just started like had their umbrellas out and they would like hit you and stuff like that. So <laughs> what we started doing to the people that were like pissing us off is we would like hit their umbrellas <laughs> and then they'd like look around. But we just started hitting people's umbrellas as we were, like, walking. I don't know. That was my favorite. <laughs> That's Because, awesome. like, nothing really happens when you're at a parade. You, like, yeah, I know. you sit there, you get aggravated because of how crowded it is. You see the players, you try to chase them for a little bit. And then you and leave. Then you leave. Yeah. So it was, like, I'm sure, like, if I really thought about this, something I'm missing. But just messing people's my favorite part. That's probably the funniest thing I've ever heard. I love that. What about you, John? Uh, I don't know. Uh, taking the tea sucks sometimes. Yeah, cause it's so packed. Yep. And I, I never, I feel like I never get the the one on the way home. I'm always like minutes away from missing it. Yeah. And if you at miss least it, you do, you get it for free those days. Yeah, I know. But if you miss it, it's like a, you have to sit there for another hour. Yep. In South Station, which is so AIDS. So I hate it. So that South sucks. Station is equivalent to AIDS, confirmed by John Noonan. Yeah, it is. It's definitely a close know. second. Just when the players drive by you. And they're, everyone's around you just so hyped. Yeah, like, everybody That's just one seems, of the best feelings in the yeah, world. It is. They look key are, like, larger than life. But yeah, like, they really are. I would sit there and be like, yo, like, I would never. But then, like, you low key fanboy for a second. Oh, absolutely. So. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of crazy that we, like, sit there and wait for these players. But, like, I mean, obviously, grow up in New England, everybody loves that team because they're, they're, they support that team. It's crazy that you get that close to the players. And, like, just think about it. They're just normal people. Mm. Do a daily shit. That's what shit. I'm saying. Yeah. That's why I'm like, oh, you would never. Yeah. But then I see Julian Edelman on a boat, and I'm like, yo, <laughs> fucking Jules. Like, Jules. It's because, like, you don't usually get that close to players in your lifetime, but, I mean. It's cool experience. It's dope. Yeah, it's, it's, really, so it's cool. really cool. Like, I think uh, we got to be grateful that, I mean, obviously, the Celtics won most of their championships, like, when Back. we were, like, what, like. We we uh, were even we like thought in people's heads are like we were like younger, yeah. not our too young ago. Didn't even have our parents yeah. in mind, so yeah. But all right, that's gonna wrap up the podcast, guys. Thank you guys again for joining me on the podcast. I really appreciate it. A lot of fun here. Um, if you guys hey. want to um go follow the TikTok, just butter that bread. Uh, YouTube is butter that bread again. Everything's just butter that bread except for the Instagram butter that bread underscore podcast. AJ Dillon, if you're watching, you have huge quads. They're massive. It's true. But thank you guys for listening and watching. This was Butter That Bread Podcast. We'll see you guys next week.
That was a great throw. Oh Ooh. my god, that was a great throw. <laughs>